Heaven is worth it, July 13. Heaven is worth winning. It should be the aim of your life to fit yourself uh, for the association with all of the other redeemed. Uh, we should fit ourselves uh, to be associated with all the holy angels and even with Jesus Christ, uh, who himself is the world's redeemer. If we could have only viewed uh, the holy celestial city, we would never wish uh, to be here on this broken, sinful earth any longer. The Bible tells us in the book of uh, Psalm, uh, chapter uh, 16 and verse 11, it says, Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand they are pleasures forevermore. I love the word uh, show. Uh, thou uh, wilt uh, show me. In other words, uh, uh, many times we are blinded uh, by the realities of this life. Uh, but the Bible tells us that God will uh, show us. He will reveal to us uh, uh, what is going to be like in the life to come. Uh, even through, though we go through our uh, storms at times and we might be caught up in uh, trials, uh, the Bible is clear that God will show us. He will show us the hope that we would have in the promise of his soon return. Uh, why not when you get down and out, allow God to show you. Let him give you a glimpse of eternal life. Now you might be wondering how to see the pathway to eternal life. It is simple. Uh, we see the pathway to eternal life uh, through our spiritual eyes. Uh, for we know that spiritual things are only spiritually uh, discerned. Uh, that is why we can sing in the midst of our trials. Because we're not only seeing the trials around us, but we are seeing uh, way beyond the trial when one day there will be no more storms and no more pain. Why not trust in his word uh, today? And let us ask God today for spiritual eyesight. That is the power of his word. Let's pray. Father, Bless us with spiritual eyesight in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, my dear friends, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay. Hey, hey.